The president of the University of Missouri steps down, calling it, quote, the right thing to do, and he takes full responsibility for what he describes as the inaction that occurred on campus. More insight on leadership or the lack of leadership during a crisis like the one from Mizzou from our guest, CNBC contributor and Harvard Business School professor of leadership, Bill George, uh, along with Tim Judge at Notre Dame's Mendoza College of Business. Bill, Tim, welcome. Good to have you with us. Bill, you've Thank written you a book on leadership. Was this a failure mm -hmm. of leadership, and how would you characterize or describe it? Well, I think it was a failure. I feel sorry for President Wolf, and I'm not here to judge him, Tyler, but I think it shows how tough it is to lead today and how you have to reach out to all your constituencies and be personally yes. engaged, and I think he wasn't. And after the problems in Ferguson, I think he could have anticipated that there were going to be problems with African-American students on the campus, and so he let this thing get out of control, and in the end, he did the right thing by resigning. But I think it's so important that you engage the students, you engage people that are concerned, you engage your faculty, and it shows all these constituents come in. It's not much different in corporate executive day. You can't just engage the shareholders. You have to engage all your constituencies. Can things can escalate out of control very quickly today unless you do, and you need to listen really carefully. And I think in his resignation statement, he was clear and say we need to listen to each other better, and that starts with the head of the organization mm -hmm. being the mm -hmm. one who's listening. Mr. Judge, how do you see it? Well, I, I agree with Bill. I think, uh, you know, this is a situation where I think once the case had gotten to this point, there was little that President Wolf could do but resign. And, you know, you have to ask yourself, okay, looking back, what, we, what could we learn from this? And I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, this is a very public uh, situation with the Ferguson uh, incident, and I think, uh, you know, you, you look back on this and think, you know, when you see these incidents occur and they build up, you know, the leader, uh, President Wolf, it, it, there's a public side to this that the, the leader has to be very vocal. And I think uh, dealing with this in private meetings was, you know, not the approach that, that many people expected because you have to set the tone and you have to let the people who are sympathetic to these mm -hmm. incidents know that this kind of behavior is not welcome. You know, Mr. Judge, I I'm mm -hmm. reminded of a case 40 years ago when I was at the University of Virginia mm -hmm. where there were similar I issues over race uh, that led to uh, the, the student council and the members of the student body uh, basically marching uh, up to the president's mm -hmm. home and walking right into the front door, knocking on the door uh, because he was judged to have been uh, insufficiently proactive with respect to, to questions of race. How far, Professor Judge, have we come on race on campus? You know, I think in some ways we've come uh, a long way, but, you know, you have to ask yourself, why is it that some of the, these incidents keep happening, and why is it that a lot of times mm -hmm. we see our leaders fall into this same pattern of, of kind of closing the walls and I think sometimes feeling that the best way to deal with this is publicly counseling people and reassuring them. I, I, you know, I think you have to be more progressive and proactive. Right. And these actions are absolutely outrageous. And right. I think the, you know, all the students need to know, uh, white and black, that that kind of behavior is not going to be tolerated. Right. Let me interrupt. Yeah, Bill, I I wanna, Bill, I want to come back to you. We have to take a quick news flash with Dominic Chu. We'll be right back. Dom. All right. So, Tyler here, the reason why we're bringing this to your attention is right now Norfolk Southern shares have been halted for volatility, have been for about the last six minutes or so, up 5 percent. This on the heels of Bloomberg headlines saying that uh, Canadian Pacific Rail is said to possibly be exploring a takeover of Norfolk Southern. So, again, Norfolk Southern shares right now halted for volatility. They are expected to reopen momentarily, but they are up 5% going into this particular headline. We should note out Canadian Pacific is still trading mm -hmm. right now, and it's currently up about 5% as well. Also watching, of course, the ripple effects from other rail companies like Union Pacific, Kansas City Southern as well. So rails right. very much in focus in this trade today. Back over to right, you guys. Uh, let me turn back to, uh, to Bill George, if I might. Just tie it off here. I know you, Bill, well enough to know that you believe that leaders lead, leaders engage, leaders get out front. Is that where this president failed? Yes, I think it was. He didn't sense the issue coming. He didn't anticipate it and really sit down and have listening sessions. I remember I went to these. I went to Georgia Tech, Tyler, and we were the first school in the South to peacefully integrate. We talked about it for a whole year before this happened. Mm -hmm. And you got to get out and talk to the people on the football team, talk to the African-American community, talk to others and make sure 
that there is understanding and what actions, and if there are students taking inappropriate actions, it has to be dealt with very swiftly, and you just have to shut it off quickly, because if you don't get out in front, then all the blame comes to the leader, fair or unfair. That's where it winds up in the leader's office. I remember it's like right. the Vietnam War protest in the 70s. Boy, so do I. We're, we're old enough <laughs> to remember them, both of us. Uh, Bill George, yes. thank you very much. Yes. Tim Judge of Notre Dame, thank you.